Welcome back to the Scrapyard guys, Rise Tronic here and we are back with another weekly challenge. This week, uh, well I'm actually earlier than the What's New tab is letting me to believe, uh, we still don't have the, the latest update in screen here. But we do know what the newest monster is and lo and behold if I just scroll around to here, we can see a new monster. Now I'm going to need to actually purchase... Um, I'm going to need to purchase a scroll here first to actually get this guy. So let's have a look at him. So this is a Calidus, or Calidus, uh, Calidus, Calidus. Uh, it's Spectre, a uh, hard difficulty, two skulls, uh, susceptible to strong attack and steel. So I'm actually going to use Incandescent Heart here for fun. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use any oils. Top tip, if you're unfamiliar with a monster, don't spend any resources on it. I think it looks cool as shit. So let's... Okay, an interesting kind of overhand sword attack. I've never seen that before on any monster. Okay, so we got to wait until the end. Let's hit him a few times. Um, I actually know... Ooh, oh, kind of underhand strike. Interesting. Okay, well, he's going to absolutely stop me then. So, so probably going to need a few resources to take this guy down. But before we go any further, actually, let's look at the challenges that we have to do this week. So... At the top, we've got complete all-time tasks, zero out of six, that's fine. Standard rewards, 500 gold, three bait, one. Hey, 500 gold is more this week, am I right? I think it was 300 last week. Okay, so kill 15 Kalidi, uh, Kalidi, whatever they're called. They can be found near human settlements, most commonly found during the day. Okay, fairly, fairly standard, fairly straightforward. Shouldn't be too difficult to find. I can see in the Discord people have already completed this. That blows my mind. All right, so that's the first task, kill 15 Kaladi. Next one is kill 10 monsters from the Spectre class while using Spectre Oil. Uh, now to use Spectre Oil, you want to, uh, you need relict, uh, relict parts. So make sure you're killing plenty of relicts. Uh, next one is kill Kaladis after performing at least five perfect parries. Now you've seen the two attack patterns. Five perfect parries might actually be a, a big deal, if I'm honest. Uh, I'm not sure, like, that's going to be tough. You're going to need some stuff to, uh, to do that. So next up is kill a Calidus after performing at least five perfect parries. Uh, now you've seen his attack pattern. Um, I think this is going to be okay as long as we've got the right potions and oils to make sure the battle goes on long enough. Um, but it, it's tough, dude, especially with a new monster learning new, new attack patterns. It can be quite a challenge, if I'm honest. Next one is kill three Kalidi without using any bombs or signs. Okay, so they're, they're a tough monster to take down. So purely melee attacks seems to be one. Again, I would recommend probably your Manticore armor. Again, I put a million guides. Uh, uh, you can see what a Manticore armor does, but you'll be able to put on um, your uh, additional HP and additional HP regen so that you can't basically be killed as long as you're blocking correctly. Uh, and the next one is kill a Calidus without outperform any melee attacks. So this is going to be bombs or signs. Now this one, these kind of challenges always catch people out. You are allowed to parry. Um, you can perfect parry, normal parry, that's fine. They're not classed as melee attacks. Just be careful you don't accidentally swing straight after the melee attack. Sometimes it's like muscle memory. You, you forget that, oh, I actually have to stop melee attack. And then the last one, gather 50 units of powdered monster tissue. This is a standard one. I really like how they've added this one. I've said it in previous videos. Uh, you will complete this without too much trouble just doing your normal dailies. And that's the weekly challenge. Uh, let me know how you got on with the previous one. I didn't complete the, f the previous one. There was not enough Arrakis around my house. Uh, I didn't get out enough to, 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 to find the, I think the Royal one was the one I couldn't find at all. Uh, but I completed, I think like five out of the six or five out of the seven, however many there were. No, I wasn't that far off. And, you know, I'm not that disappointed if I don't complete them. I mean, I didn't put in the effort to complete them, so I don't really feel like I deserve it. Um, one other thing I would say, another top tip, guys, is if we're looking at the What's New section and we're looking at what the February lineup is, we can see that on the 9th we're going to have, uh, it says, it shows a picture of a Knight Succubus there. Uh, they are hybrids, and if I remember correctly, high, you will need either to craft hybrid oil or use hybrid oil. So what I would recommend is kill uh, or save Ogroid parts. Uh, over the next week, kill and save Ogroid parts. Don't use them because you don't want to be in a scenario where you craft loads of uh, hybrid oil and then find out that one of the tasks is craft 10 hybrid oil. 
uh, you'll have wasted your time. So just wait until next week. Get, get Kill lots of Ogroids, lots of Neckers, things like that, and you should be fine. Similar, Draconids are coming up at the end. Uh, I haven't actually looked into what it takes to craft a Draconid oil, but, you know, do something similar. Stock up on those supplies, have them ready for the week lined up, and you should be golden. And that's been the video, team. Good luck on the hunt out there for your Kaleidos, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.